Hi YouTubers, it's Pris again, and I want to share with you, because I realize I didn't record these, a word I got September 26th this year, uh, a sea of profiteering and wickedness. And the Lord said, the love of money has come to extreme measures as a high tower in the world. There are people who will do anything for money, as we know. As you can see daily in the news, extreme lying and pretense is the order of the day. People have become like sharks, eating up anything that's in their path. Lawlessness abounds and violence is increasing. It is as in the days of Noah. The abuse of children, using them for body parts, using them for sexual pleasure, killing them so that Satanists can drink their blood to get energy and power. Severe neglect and abuse are commonplace now. Do you really think that I'm going to do nothing at all, beloveds, when such extreme abuse of precious young human lives is disregarded? For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now I will arise, says the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. That's Psalm 12, 5. And Isaiah 33, 10 says, Now I will arise, says the Lord. Now I will be exalted. Now I will be lifted up. I will overturn every strategy of the enemy who is trying to take out everyone he can. I am arising for harvest, and I will demonstrate my love in supernatural ways throughout the world. I will explode inside my beloveds with my presence and power, and nothing will ever be the same. Reach out to the hurting and lost without fear, beloveds, for this is the hour of my recompense. Whoa, I will demonstrate my power. I will demonstrate my power through you. I have humbled and abased you. I have allowed you to go through difficult things because the things that you're facing now are way more difficult and I had to condition you to understand that I will come through for you no matter what my no matter what my love is way more powerful than the wickedness of this world my power is way more effective than the enemy of your soul and his minions there is nothing I will not do for a sold out lover you are my bride and although the world is very different now will not a man will not a bridegroom protect his bride how much more will I protect you? I am now roaring over my bride. I will resuscitate you, whoa, and restore my gifts in you. Surprises, 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 he said. I love surprises, even as young lovers love to surprise each other, creating mystery and laughter. So you will be able to laugh at the enemy, for he will tremble at what I do in you. Joy is another powerful weapon. Yes, there is war going on in the heavens, just as there is war going on in the earth in various arenas. But this is a, a war I have already won and paid for. Stand up and fight for what is right. There is power in your unity. You can see it when the trumpet speaks at his rallies. There is a groundswell of opposition to the wickedness arising. But do not be prideful. Do not fall to the pride of this world, but speak out. With respect and my truth, there is far too much anger in many people's responses. Though you have righteous anger, I've told you to be angry, but sin not. Be wise in associations, for everything you say will be used against you in the days ahead. Use restraint. Be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. That's a hard one, I think, for uh, especially for people like me um, with a strong sense of justice. It's hard to be quiet. Worship, worship, worship in the spirit of holiness. I am increasing my glory. I'm increasing my wisdom. I'm increasing diversity of tongues. I'm increasing my discernment. I am increasing revelation. I am increasing guidance and direction. Release it, Lord, even as I'm speaking this. I am increasing my healing power in you. I am increasing miracles and favor. I'm increasing faith. There will be great turnaround as I explode inside of you. Hold on. My timing is perfect. And Daniel 7, we're going to go to and read some of that for this. Hallelujah. In the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head, head upon his bed. Then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matters. Daniel spoke and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of heaven strove upon the great sea, or stirred up the great sea. And four great beasts came up from the sea, whoa, diverse one from another. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. Whoa, I beheld till the wings thereof were plucked, and it was lifted up from the earth and made to stand upon the feet as a man. 
and a man's heart was given to it. And behold, another beast, a second like, like to a bear, and it raised up itself on one side and it had three ribs in the mouth of it between the teeth of it. And they said thus unto it, Arise, devour much flesh. After this I beheld, and lo, another, like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl, and beast, the beast had four heads, and dominion was given to it. Whoa! Hey, 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 after this I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth. It devoured and broke in pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the other beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of a man, and a mouth speaking great things. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow. Hallelujah. And the hair of his head like the pure wool, like pure wool, his throne was like a fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousands ministered to him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were opened. I beheld then, because of the voice of the great words which the horn spoke, I beheld even till the beast was slain, and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame. As concerning the rest of the beasts, they had their domini dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom which shall that shall not be destroyed. I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body, and the visions of my head troubled me. I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked him the truth of all this, so he told me and made me to know the interpretation of the things. These great beasts, which are four, are four kings, hallelujah, which shall rise out of the earth. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and even forever and ever. Now, notice that, you know, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever. Then I would know the truth of the fourth beast, which was diverse from all others, exceedingly dreadful, whose teeth were of iron and his nails brass, which devoured, break in pieces, and stomped the residue with his feet, and of the ten horns that were in his head, and of the other which came up, and before whom three fell, even of that horn that had eyes and a mouth that spake very great things, whose look was more stout than his fellows. I beheld, and the same horn made war with the saints, and prevailed against them until the Ancient of Days came and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. So the Antichrist is going to, you know, uh, work against the saints, but to a point. And when that point comes, the Lord has determined he's going to give the saints possession of the kingdom. And that is what's coming the kingdom wind. Whoa, whoa. Thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon, upon earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms and shall devour the whole earth and it shall tread down and break in pieces. And the 10 horns out of this kingdom are 10 kings that shall arise and another shall rise after him and he shall be diverse from the first and he'll subdue three kings. So three, three will be eliminated. Ho. Oh. Hey, and he will speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. But the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. So we are to help consume and, and devour his kingdom. Okay, and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him, meaning Christ. Hitherto is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my cogitations, 
much troubled me and my countenance changed in me, but I kept the matter in my heart. Hallelujah. How far are we? Okay, I might have time for this other one. All right. Voices of Bitterness was another one given to me October 11th. I think it's short enough. I can do that. After the Lord said voices of bitterness, I had this impression of human beings in the shape of tornadoes like a whirlwind swirling all around them. I believe it represents the flurry of demonic activity around us when we give in to bitterness because of, you know, what he was showing me. It kind of reminded me of Charlie Brown's character, Pigpen. <laughs> you know, that little guy with the, all he's kicking up the dust. I continued to listen and I heard the enemy doesn't play fair. There's no relenting from the warfare he brings. Hallelujah. I have called you to life and that more abundantly. My presence brings healing and deliverance and empowerment for service. This is why the enemy tries to keep you from it. There is no joy without me. There is no true happiness without me. There is no true love without me. You can't work up enough love for people when you haven't received love. People can be loving 90% of the time, 50% of the time, 25% of the time. 5% of the time, but unless your soul receives the healing it needs, no one can even achieve these percentages of being loving. You must receive love to express it. This is why I urge you to get into my presence through worship, prayer, and the word that you can receive the fullness of what I have for you. Bitterness is a thief that takes away a sound mind. It steals peace and joy and is a great limiter of being able to give out love. That doesn't mean that you never can be loving. It's just that it takes much more love to get filled up again when you do because there's still so much bitterness inside when you're full of that that needs extrication. I work on you in stages sometimes where you get some healing and then there's a rest period for a time and then I may uncover another route, route at another time that you can get free from that. I keep chipping away a little at a time. This is a process of sanctification. This is the work of the Holy Spirit. You can ask for this, and when honestly asking, you will receive. It may not always come right when you want it to, but Father knows best and will bring it in time. All healing is progressive most of the time. Sometimes because of the call in somebody's life, I will do it in an instant or over a shorter period of time. The days of longing, of long waiting are almost at an end. What I do next will be surprising and glorious and I will break every chain that has held you back. People are talking about it, but many of you saying, well, where is it? I'm still waiting. Things that happen in the spirit realm are not always instantly manifested in the physical realm in every life, but it is a done deal. I will do everything I've said I will do. I'm not a man that I should lie, nor a son of man that I should change my mind. I keep my promises. I am a good father who gives good gifts to my children. My care for you is like that of a good father. So many of you have not had good mothers and fathers, so you expect disappointment and letdown, and many others expect to be disqualified if they make another mistake. But I am called faithful and true for a reason. I am the father of lights, and every good and perfect gift comes from me, and I am a generous giver. I am an extravagant giver, and I don't withhold from those who love me, even if their love is not perfected, even if they make mistakes." And I can absolutely testify to that. As long as they repent, showers of grace are coming. Showers of extraordinary grace are on the way for you. You will see my glory, whoa, manifested as you have longed to see. Even though it may come through difficult times, you certainly will see it. I made promises to, to Noah and I kept them. I saw him through and provided for him an extraordinary miracles to accomplish my goals. He didn't have to search through the world to make the animals come to him. I gave him the wisdom for all he had to do and I gave him the strength and the grace to go through even if he was surrounded by taunting masses of people full of sin and lasciviousness, just like now. You can imagine how hard it was on his wife and sons and their wives to be opposed daily to be called foolish, stupid, and reckless for believing that what I said was true. I told you also that Lot was tormented daily by the things he saw, and so many of you have been tormented also by the things that you're seeing uncovered. It is very tormenting to see people make disastrous choices in their lives and to also see the wicked who are of reprobate mind continue on in their lives and schemes to rule the world instead of allowing me to lead them. Lawlessness has ramped up. Antichrist spirit has taken over the minds of many, but there is nothing that I can't change. So calm your mind and soul. 